today we'll be talking a little bit about the microscopic life of a reef tank. And the microscopic life of a reef tank can be very, very special. I mean, it can be so advanced that you one day will be able to identify it. It might even be a new species that you might not be able to identify either because um, the live rock are taken from, you know, um, reefs. I mean, if you get live rock from uh, reefs, you will get a lot of interesting stuff, which is what I got. So, this rock is Indonesian live rock. So, you can of course tell a little bit about the species that you will get from the area that you got your live rock. You can do a little bit of research on what is most common on those types of live rock, like Fiji live rock, um, Australian live rock, um, Florida live rock, I mean, just a lot of different things like that. And you can find out whatever, um, you know, it will be, so... Um, in this um, tank, I actually got a lot of stuff that I'm not even able to identify, and some that I am. And I'm going to talk to you guys about a little bit about that. It's both going to be about sponges, critters, algaes, and stuff like that. So, let's go and talk a little bit about the things that I'm not able to identify. I've had a lot of experts um, that are trying to help me with this, to identify them. Um, a lot of experienced aquarists as well, and they can't identify them. They're basically just, they, they don't know what it is. Um, but I can show you right here, this, these things right here. I got no idea what they are. I mean, um, they're growing all over my tank. They don't seem to do anything. It might be a filter feeding um, sponge, but it could actually also be some sort of algae. And um, you know, it's it's kind of strange, but as long as it doesn't do anything, I have nothing against it. It just looks beautiful, I guess. It got those really cool red colorations, um, and they will grow bigger, um, probably. I don't know because I, I, I'm not able to identify this, um, and neither are many other people. So what this is, I have no freaking idea. It's really strange. And um, another thing that I'm not able to identify is, let me see if I can get over to this side right here. If you see the live rocks on this side, you can see these seagrass sort of things, um, macroalgae things where I'm pointing my finger right now. Um, there are also some next to the green star polyps. I do not know what those are either. I have tried to see if I could get some people to identify them, but what we have come, um, we have come to a conclusion, which is, it's some type of ma macroalgae, some type of, of seaweed, some type of Indonesian seaweed. Um, what it is exactly, I got no idea. Um, neither do the other people, but um, <clears throat> you know, it's it's strange and. You know, if it grows tall and stuff like that, I'll put it in the back of my sump to make it a little refugium. Could be really cool, actually. So, um, also, um, I got this stuff down here. Um, I'm 100% sure that it's not hair algae because um, it's not growing on the rocks here on the top as the previous um, hair algae did. It grows like crazy up here where there's a lot of lighting. Um, and low flow and th there are some patches of it here and there um, but it, it doesn't seem like um, a type of hair algae it rather looks like some sort of special macro algae um, it grows over the sand like this which I think looks really really cool I don't know why I just really like plants but um, not only does it look cool but inside of this, um, this stuff right here there's a lot of small critters. Um, these small critters are um, some different types of copepods, amphipods, um, and some small snails. I think they're turbo snails, small baby turbo snails. Um, and then there are also some stromatella snails. So there's a lot of different things. Um, in this seagrass, also some small brittle stars, um, some small tube worms as well. Uh, and maybe you guys are asking about um, what a stromatella snail is. There's actually a very good example of one right here. This is one of my bigger stromatella snails right here. Um, they're beautiful. I 
think they're really beautiful. I don't know why. They come in many different colors, like um, black, um, sandish color, gray, um, some types of things like that. I think they're really cool looking. And they also um, eat a lot of macroalgaes. Um, not only do they eat macroalgae, they also um, clean the tank for us, um, you know, leftover food and stuff like that, which is pretty important. Um, it also can, like, it has these special sort of like, I, I mean, it can do a lot of different things, like it can um, go from there, it can take the end of its foot and then uh, put that on this this side right here, this acrylic side right here, and the rest of its body is just flowing around here. Meanwhile, it tries to get to on this on this rub right here, so it can actually leap from this um, acrylic um, thingy and come over to the rock um, just by like doing some sort of leaping or something. It looks really cool, um, you know. And um, I also discovered a very strange shrimp in this hole right in here. I haven't seen it come out in a long time. It didn't look like a mantis shrimp, but rather like a giant um, amphipod, which is very, very rarely seen. Um, so I do not know what it is, but I haven't heard some clicking or anything like that at night, so it's not a mantis shrimp. I'm pretty sure about that. Um, and uh, I also got a lot of spaghetti worms. You can see there's one flooring right over there at the right side. It's kind of hard for you guys to see. They are so tiny and very, very stringy. Um, they look like some type of like. Um, they almost look like um, like some slime that is just flowing around the water. It looks really cool. Um, what these guys do is that they make all these small um, caves down here underneath the sand. As you can see, I got a lot of them here, and I don't even got a deep sand bed, but there's still a lot around here. And this uh, macroalgae is a great spot for them to kind of get peas from the duddy bag um, so that he can't eat them, um, you know, which is really positive. So that is good. Um, on other things that I got um, on algaes, I got red bubble algae. Um, I actually think this algae is very, very attractive, but it grows extremely fast and it will like cover the other corals and kill them which is not a good thing so i will soon get an emerald crab um an emerald crab or two um i don't know what i'm going to do but they're everywhere i think they look really cool though i have nothing against them i think they're beautiful i didn't get the green type of bubble algae i think those are really ugly but these ones are just pretty i mean look at those and there's one more of those weird sponges i'm just talking about um then i got some Aptasia everywhere and that is not a good thing um, but I have Aptasia eggs but it just doesn't really help a lot um, I of course can kill the bigger ones but the smaller ones I can't really eradicate that fast um, so I mean there's a lot of different things in here I can't cover all of it um, but there's also many many creatures and critters and stuff like that that you can't see with the naked eye um, but I also got a lot of coralline algae, you can see some that is growing right under there and stuff like that, so that is really good. I think this live rock is really cool and um, I'm happy I got it because I got a lot of interesting things with it. And guys, I also got this weird thing right here on my little coral. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't seem to hurt a lot. And I also got all these tube worms, like different sorts of tube worms. There's also a pretty big one down there. You know, which is pretty cool. And uh, by the way, the chromis are doing fantastic. Just look at those colors they've gotten. That is amazing. They look amazing right now. Um, so they're doing fantastic. I'm soon uh, gonna get a goby um, to kind of um, stir around the sand. I only got one big Nasaria snail in this tank um, that is stirring around the sand. It's not enough to keep these diatoms at bay. So I'm going to get a goby, a sand sifting goby. I can cruise around the tank and stuff like that. I also really love gobies. I think they're really cool looking and very colorful. So, um, yeah. So, um, that's basically it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe you discovered some new species in your tank that you don't know what it is. And, um, yeah. I mean, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. So, yeah. See you guys in another video.